Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you how to set up the mini Craig jig. So stick around. Okay, so this mini Craig jig is still around. Sometimes it can be hard to find in the store because Craig has come a long way. But there are occasions where you need this if you're going to put a pocket hole in something that's already in existence. You can't go and put it in one of these other jigs. So this is what you need for those purposes. And I'm going to go right into it and explain to you how to use it. When you open up your packet, you're going to have your mini Craig jig. You're going to have your drill bit, an Allen wrench, and your depth collar. But you're also going to want to make sure that you get yourself a ruler, tape measure, something with some measuring devices. And then one of these long extension square bits so that you can use it with the screws. So first things first, your wood. You're gonna to wanna to determine which board you're using. The most common board that you're gonna probably use is three quarter inch wood. For a three quarter inch wood, you're gonna to wanna to use an inch and a quarter length screw. For half inch wood, you're gonna to wanna to use a one inch screw. And for inch and a half piece of wood, which is mostly your all standard two by fours, two by threes, you're gonna to wanna to use a two and a half inch screw. For this example, we are going to use the three quarter inch board, but I will explain how to use it for the other ones. So to set up for the three quarter inch, you're going to want to take your depth collar, put it on your drill bit, give it a little snug just so it keeps it from moving. But this here, when you go to clamp this, you're going to want to bring it right up to the edge of your workpiece and go ahead and throw a clamp on it. So your next important step is how do you know how far to make this depth. So for the three quarter inch wood, which is going to be your inch and a quarter screw, you want this to have a depth of three and a half inches. Now you're going to measure that from this edge to this depth collar. So we're going to loosen up the set screw again, go to three and a half inches, and then tighten that down. And then we are good to go with the three quarter. One thing to remember when you're doing these pocket holes is you're going to know if you're doing it right if you don't end up with a hole at the end of your wood. If you have a hole, that means that the depth of your depth collar is too far, and so you're drilling too far into the wood. So moving on, we're going to move on to the half inch, and I'll show you how to set this up. So for the half inch piece of wood, you're going to want to take your Craig jig and not set it right up to the edge. You're actually going to want to overhang it a quarter of an inch. And then while you've got that, go ahead and clamp that down. For the depth guide on your drill, what you're going to want to do is loosen that up again so you've got some movement. And then on this one, you're actually going to want to measure three and a quarter from the little shelf here. So three and a quarter inch right there. And then we'll tighten this back down. Always good to check twice. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and drill. Last but not least, the inch and a half board. So, same thing applies. We're not setting this on the edge. We're not overhanging it. This time it's going to be back here. And actually, it's going to be an inch and a quarter from the edge. And the depth collar for the drill bit is going to set four and an eighth. Which I actually got to loosen this up and give myself a little slack. This is pretty much the maximum you can do with this mini Craig jig. If you've got to go larger than that, then you need to probably look at different options. So four and an eighth. Tighten it up. There we go. All right, well, there you have it. Um, really, a very quick and simple video to show you something that's actually rather quick and simple to use. Now, we'll say if you're planning on doing a large project where you're probably gonna do maybe 20 to 30 pocket holes, don't, don't use this. You're just gonna end up getting frustrated. Go ahead and buy the next step up, which has a little bit more features to it. 
As a matter of fact, I have created another video, which is an older video on how to set up a Craig jig where you can actually sit your wood in there, clamp it in, and go ahead and drill away. That link is also going to be in the cards above and at the end of this video. But um, hopefully this helps you out. I still use this an awful lot here in my shop. It just basically stays right next to the other Craig jig. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. And I will see you next time right here in the workshop.